What's up guys, Warg here with another WoW video. So lately there's been a lot of uh, talk about hidden artifact weapon appearances. I am going to show you uh, the one for Unholy Death Knights. It's called the Bone Reaper's Hook. It looks really bad and I'll show you how to get it. Enjoy! So as you guys already know, every spec now has a unique artifact weapon that can be upgraded throughout the expansion with unique talents and abilities using artifact points. There are also additional artifact appearances and colors available to be unlocked through various quest lines and achievements. Uh, from the outset there are three additional appearances that are ready for you to start unlocking using the instructions given by the tooltips. More recently though, through extensive data mining by the WoW community, we now know the existence of what are called uh, hidden artifact appearances. It looks like there is at least one hidden artifact appearance to unlock for each spec. Uh, doing so will activate the hidden potential talent of your character, and uh, the way this is done will likely be different for every spec. In the case of Unholy Death Knights, the first of hopefully many hidden skins is called the Bone Reaper's Hook, uh, and I'm going to show you in this video how to obtain it. Stay tuned. So the Bone Reaper's Hook was first discovered by Fira on the Dractyl server, and based on what various Death Knights have learned, the requirements for unlocking this skin seem to include Artifact Knowledge 6, which can be researched at the Order Hall. I've heard other requirements also, including a, a certain number of Artifact traits that need, be, need to be unlocked, but I'm not sure if this is the case. Uh, for the record, I unlocked my appearance. Uh, shortly after reaching Artifact Knowledge level 7 in trait number 24. The first step in the process is to repeatedly cast your Apocalypse Artifact Weapon ability, which summons up to 8 Army of the Dead Ghouls on your target per cast. Specifically, you're looking for an Orc Death Knight in Tier 9 armor to be one of the ghouls that you summon. You will then see on the chat box a line that says, Why have I been brought back to fight for you? Uh, and then once that orc dies, a large shiny book will spawn on the floor, and this is called Professor Putricide's Lost Journal. Uh, the exact number of ghouls you need to spawn before getting this orc to appear is around 2,000 from what I've heard, so it can take quite a bit of time for the trigger. Um, so what you want to do is find a place where you can cast Apocalypse on cooldown repeatedly, uh, and ideally... Um, uh, proving grounds are proving to be a very, very good setting for this because you can start the tank trial, cast Apocalypse on a mob with date wounds up, and then yield to the NPC immediately afterwards, which would reset all of your cooldowns and allow you to bypass the one and a half minute uh, cooldown of Apocalypse. So basically, this maximizes the number of casts you can get per hour and is very helpful. So after you get the orc to appear and the book to drop, nothing really needs to be looted. Uh, you can read the flavor text of the book to see your next step, but uh, if you don't want to go through all of that, you're basically going to head to uh, Ice Crown Citadel, where you'll only be half an hour away from unlocking that appearance. So now that you're in Ice Crown Citadel, head to Professor Putricide's room, where on the right hand side you'll see a round teleporter pad that you can right click. Doing so will take you to a hidden area filled with level 110 undead enemies. The area is laid out in a pretty straightforward manner. Uh, there are no forks in the road so don't worry about getting lost. Most of the mobs are non-elite and do not hit hard so it shouldn't be too difficult to gather them up in a group dropping death and decay and using scourge strike to cleave them all down. Eventually, you're going to find yourself in a round room housing a large abomination called Stitchwork. He has around 5 million HP and he will drop the Bone Reaper's Hook appearance as a lootable object after he dies. You will be able to find the object in your bag, so simply right click on it and you'll see an animation showing that you've successfully obtained the hidden Apocalypse appearance, and shortly after that, the hidden potential achievement will activate as well. I hope you found this video useful. Um, please feel free to like or subscribe. Thank you for watching and good luck farming.